Hi all, today I will be showing you how to compare two lists and then list out which items are not present in the other file. So I have prepared two lists, list one and list two. And only two names are repeated in the in these two lists. So it's Paul and Mike and Paul and Mike. Then I uh, Power Automate will create uh, two reports. The first report is in list one but not in list two. So these are all in list one. But Paul and Mike is deleted because it's in list uh, 2 and uh, YC versa for in list 2 but not in list 1. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, Please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So the first step is obviously, obviously read from CSV file. So file path is uh, the least one, file path. At once, uh, you can uh, enable first line call, contains column names, but it doesn't matter. Then variables produced is CSV underscore one. Then you do read from CSV file again. So now it's reading list two and change the variables produced to CSV underscore two. Then you need to retrieve data table column into list. So the first one is we retrieve CSV one, CSV underscore one. Column name or index is the name of the column that you want to compare. And uh, Variables produced is list underscore one. And then I do the same thing for CSV2. And uh, variables produced is list underscore two. Then first I want to find the, co the common list items. So first list is list underscore one. Second list is list underscore two. Variables produced is intersection list. Then I use for each current item in intersection list, right? This will be um, Paul and Mike, right? These are the these are the names that exist in both lists. Then you slowly remove item from list. So remove item by value with value current item. So the current item, the first current item would be Paul. Then remove all item occurrences from list, list one. Right? It will also remove item from list, from list two. Remove item by value, with value current item, remove all item occurrences enabled from list, list two. So it will also uh, remove Paul from list two. Then it will iterate. Um, it will go to the next uh, intersection list, would, which would be Mike, right? Then it will remove item again for Mike uh, from these two lists, right? Then it ends. Then you launch Excel with a blank document. Variables produced is Excel instance. Then you write. To Excel worksheet, Excel instance is Excel instance. Then write list one, which doesn't have Paul and Mike now. Write mode on currently active cell. Then you close Excel. Excel instance, Excel instance. Before closing Excel, save document as default. Then you uh, you save it as in list one, but not in list two. All right? Then you do the same thing for the second list. 
launch Excel with blank document, whereas for this Excel instance, it can stay the same because we already closed the first instance. Then we write to Excel worksheet, Excel instance list underscore two on currently active cell. Then you close Excel, Excel instance, save document as default. Then the name of the file is li in list two, but not in list one. All right. So I'm going to just delete my two results here. And I am going to run. So now it's um open, opening up uh, book one and then save it as the first file and save uh, oh, uh, then it will save the second file. Um, if I go back to here, you can see. Um, so in list one, no more, Paul and Mike. In list two, right? Uh, no more Paul and Mike here. Uh, I hope this video has helped you. Um, if it helps, please click on the like button and remember to subscribe. And you can also buy me coffee by clicking on the PayPal link be below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.